guys. Happy Monday. Um, as you can see from the intro, this will be about the things that I pack for my trips to Disney every single time. A few items that I have to take with me every time I go to Disney. But first, let me introduce my kitty. This is Max. He's a big cat. He's bigger than three years old. But he's really good. Okay, <laughs> two things that I take with me to Disney. Um, the first thing that I am going to talk about is my pins. My pins mean a lot to me because I have been collecting and trading pins since I was a kid. I used to have a lot more pins than this. But because I traded so much, I've... I don't have many pins anymore on my trading lanyard. I do have a lot of pins on my collecting lanyard. But, so, so you can see what I'm talking about. This is my trading one. But there's three on here that um, I probably would never trade. And that's the 2001 Epcot pin. My Disneyland Paris pin. And then the 35th anniversary pin. Because only cast members can have these. But one cast member when I was little gave me this pin. So yeah, these are all the pins that I would trade except the three that I just told you. Okay. Now on to the pins that I collect. This lanyard would definitely show you who is my favorite princess and who is my favorite fairy. Oh, this is Belle and Tinkerbell. They are my favorites. So this next trip, I do plan on getting more pins since I just got a new lanyard for my birthday. It's a frozen lanyard. So I think on that lanyard, I'm going to keep it frozen themed. Maybe some other princesses on that. The next thing I'm going to talk about are my ears. The only two ears that I have that I take to Disney with me. But I do plan on getting more ears than just those. Because, I mean, ears are ears. They're fun. So, these are my first ears that I ever got when I was a kid. Um, they have my name on them. They This doesn't necessarily fit my head anymore, but I do take them just, just for the fun of it, you know. These ears I did get um, this past summer. Because I got a similar ears like this, but with Mickey's face on the front. To have the sorcerer hat in the middle for my best friend. So then I got these for me so that we kind of match throughout the park. I like these ears. I want more ears like this. Um, if you guys watch the Tim Tracker, his wife Jen has really inspired me to get more ears. I have a bunch of different kind of ears so I can wear different ears every day. I think they're pre pretty fun to have different ears every day instead of just having these. Um, but yeah. There's nothing on the back, but I'll show you. Next, um, I'm going to talk about this. This is my hip sack that I bring into the park. Right now it has Harry Potter stuff on it because I'm getting ready to go see Universal. Um, but yeah, I fit everything in here. My wallet goes in here. I have my phone goes in here. Um, the charging case goes in here. I take my um, charger in here just in case. So I always have everything in my little hip sack that I take with me. Now this next piece is something that I haven't been able to wear in a while. My little crown. I used to wear it when I had long hair. I used to put my hair in a bun and I would wear it. But now I put my hair into like this like little ponytail in the back and I just put it right in. But um, I got this at the Emporium at Magic Kingdom. This is my second one of these. Because my first one, the top broke and I was really sad. So I got a new one. Because I always have to have a crown with me. I wear a crown majority of the time over ears. Because I like being a princess. Um, now the next things I'm going to show you are the things that I wear on my wrist when I go to Disney. 
Of course, I always bring my magic band. You have to. It's kind of the only way to get into your room and into the park. And then next, I have my two Alex and Annie Disney bracelets. Belle and Epcot, my two favorite things. And then, of course, I have my Mickey Mouse watch. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, there's too much light. But, yeah. So, I have my Mickey Mouse watch that I, I wear every day. So, of course, I take it with me to Disney. What I'm going to bring up is Duffy. He's the most important thing I take with me to Disney. Well, on any trip, because without him I can't sleep, because it's like I have a little piece of home with me. Um, it's kind of sad they took away the meet and greet for him at Epcot, but he's, I don't know, he's really important to me, and he's my favorite, and I love him so much, and I can't go on a trip without him. He's the best. Let's piggyback it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and, um... Comment down below what you take every time to Disney or if you have anything in common that we both take to Disney every time. Tell me if you like to trade pins or if you liked my cat who is now over there. Um, yeah, so just comment about what you guys do and what you always take to Disney. Um, there will be a video coming up about what I'm specifically packing for my January trip. Um... I'm only going to mention one thing that I'm probably going to mention in that video. I am taking an itinerary with me on that trip, and that's the first time I'm ever doing that. But it's so we all know, like, what we did. We're going to just check it off or what we're going to do that day so we don't get confused because it's her first time going, like, well, it's my first time going out with my mom. I'm pretty sure it's their first time, too. So we're just going to be going by the plans that we made. Um, so, yeah, that video will be coming up soon. Um, and, again... Have a great day. I will see you on Wednesday.